Hello everyone. In the last lecture of a patent series, we understand how we can able to know the INID codes and also what are the significance of each code we understand in our previous lecture. So where we understand the basics of a patents and also the secret of a patents, of a published patents. So today we will compare between a published patent and a granted patent of different countries. So how it looks a published patent and a granted patent and what are the basic differences between a published and granted patent. So all in detail we will understand from Dr. Priyanka Agrawal ma'am. So over to Priyanka Agrawal ma'am. Thank you Dr. Appan. So as you just said that about uh, our coding system in our published patents which we have covered in our uh, last lecture. Here I am telling you the difference between that uh, patent application which is published and patent application which is granted. So what are the differences we just observe in these two? I put two slides of uh, uh, published versus grant. So one thing is that in case of here we have taken the example of the US patent application and here this number 10 which is we can say the INID number this INID number indicates that the identification of the publications. So here you will see that it is mentioned the publication number and the publication number is followed by the country digits along with the digits and there is a one code called the A1. This could be many A1, A2 and all three. This is a different thing. But just to identify that the application is a patent, appli patent uh, published application, we just go for that the digit A is there and at the INID number code, publication number is mentioned. If we are going into our, you can see the granted patent. So what the difference we are observing? So the 10 INID code number is the same, but instead of publication number, here we are getting the patent number. This is a one way of differentiating between the published versus patent. And when, an, and you will see that the US country code is there, then the number is also there. There's little bit changes in the pattern because of time to time, yearly, they change their number pattern. And at last, you will find an alphabet B, which indicates that this particular application has been now granted. So this is a one difference. Okay. Then the country patent application publication, which is given under 12 INID code, that is a kind of publication. But here we are getting just only that the United States patent. It is now granted, so it is just mentioning as a number 12, United States. No other, uh, you can see the difference, uh, uh, 90 number is mentioned over here. 52 INID code is same. It is that the title of our, you can say the invention, title of our patent application. Next, 71, you will see that the applicant, most of the, you can say, the INID code then remains same, but a broad difference between the publication and the patent we will identify in terms of A and B or in terms of publication number and patent number. This is a one, we can say the comparison between the uh, published versus granted in US country. And also we can yeah. see that a publication, mom, the publication date. Here I can see the yes. publication date, but in this and case, we are getting... date of patent. Yes. Here the publication date, because at this date, this application was published, but now the, the, uh, the invention is granted. So instead of, you can see the publication, we can see the date of patent on which particular date the patent is given to us. Okay. So that is called Major the date difference of We can patent. get about the, the first, uh, the first case, like the, uh, the publication number where uh, yes. the, if it will be only published, then publication number we will find uh, in US yes. patent. But if it will be granted, then instead of a publication number, there will be directly written patent number. Patent number. So then we can understand that it is uh, a granted patent. And second case also, the publication date we will find in case of a published patent, but there yes. date of a patent we will find uh, in case of granted patent. Yes, that's why here you will see that the number is publication date is given the INID number is a 43. And this one is given the 45 number. It is a different number. 
Uh, yes, so and and also another here patent application publication uh, that mentioned number they take the same number that it is a publications the okay. same application then you can say the condition it going to be the in a grant but it is, but it is so the, only patent United State patent in that case yes. it is patent application publication yes and here it is United State patent yes this is application published patent application yes. of the United States. And this is again a granted patent of United States. So in granted case, uh, I can't able to see anywhere written publication. The publication term. Yes, ma'am. Publication term is not mentioned because it is now in the in some of the you can see the uh, below side of this in the INID codes there will be the mention that on which date it was published and all that. Yes. But at the but top, the just to identify, place, we will not find any publication like that. We will not yes. find anywhere. Then we can understand that uh, instead of publication, we can find patent. Then we understand that it is yes. a granted patent. When we download the complete, you will see the bibliographic, uh, bibliographic data and uh, you can see the whole uh, uh, this application in a granted state. You will get everything about it. Okay. But just a broad difference to observe between the from the front the page itself. Granted. Then we can, uh, yes. from the front page, we can, uh, we have to follow this, uh, uh, the to 10, 12, we will follow, then we can understand that whether uh, this is published or granted, we can understand. But here we'll see that this is an international application. If the same thing we want to observe in our, you can see the Indian patent system, yes. so this numbering system will not exist. Okay, there is a so it will be again, uh, but this INID code will be remain same or it will be also changes. No, this is also not mentioned in our Indian patent system also. Okay. This is okay. an international, I'm telling you that the international application system, we are getting this way. Okay. okay. So this is but for the only for this is particularly valid for US patent. This is for the US. Similar, we will get it in the, uh, in our, uh, you can say the European patent system. This little bit deviations you will observe. But the okay. meaning of INI ideal in any of the application remains same. Okay. When we deal with the bibliographic data, there might be a little bit differences in the presentation of your, you can say the bibliographic, uh, bibliographic data, but the meaning of the digit remains same. Okay. Okay. So the country was little the bit digit, deviations. The digit number also it. remains same or not? Digit number also changes? Like no, yeah. digit, digit, because this is an internationally agreed number system. Okay. So this will have the same, same meaning. Yes. Okay. But uh, you will see that pattern little bit with the change. We cannot say that at the same positions we are getting the 19 or the 20. This this may vary a little bit, but the meaning that 19 means you will see that the country, okay, and you can say that 12 means that we are talking about an application number, patent application, publication. That is a kind of publication. This will remain same. The meaning remains same, but you can say the presentation will be a little bit different. Yes, but this is will... not an applicable in case of our Indian patent system. Uh, yes. So I'm we telling you see that then it will be very helpful for other for uh, yes. all, uh, viewers that how so it, it is completely now we can understand the base from the basic point of view we can understand about the US patent in a published uh, published form and in a granted form. So how they can distinguish between them that we understand very nicely. So now mm -hmm. uh, I think we will go for Indian patent, then it will be very helpful. How yes, I'm goes. telling you the, again, the, the these, uh, uh, this is our Indian patent, which is published versus granted. And if you want to distinguish, uh, you can say the uh, differences between to observe. So when we go in our Indian patent side, uh, patent side and we go for the uh, uh, searching of our Indian patent applications, which is in a published state and which is in a granted state. So you will see that the both are looking almost same, but in the left hand side, you will observe that there is a mention the application number. Okay. And again, this the right one. I'm also telling you that the granted patent, this left one is a published, you can say the application and the right one is a granted one. Now you will see the way of presentation is the application number and application number remains same over there, but you just observe the bottom side of it. You will, you will find that what is mentioned application status, applications awaiting examination, right? And here in case of when an application get granted, then the granted application and it is having a patent number. So you're getting this patent number. When we click over it, you will get a certificate of it, right? So there is a difference. Patent number is totally different 
from the application number. Okay, here you will see the application number is mentioned at the top and the patent number is different. If you try to compare with the US patent applications, there is no, you will see that the country name or A alphabet or B alphabet. This is not applicable in case of our Indian patent system. Accordingly, they will have there the, you can say the year, then there is a, you can say the digit system in case of 2022, two, 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 here the 2023, this indicates that this application was filed in 2023 and this was filed in 2022. So this is the pattern of the country. That what pattern they follow, but they generally don't follow the A and B system in case of our Indian patent system. Just by looking into the status of our application in our Indian patent site, we'll have an idea of that uh, when we see that the documents which are uploaded over here and we just explore it, we'll get an idea that application is under the published state or application is under the grant state. Along with that, here you will find <coughs> that the publication date on which date the application was published in our Indian patent system. So there's the application number and the bottom, there is a publication date is mentioned over here. And here in case of that, the date of certificate issue on which date that the application, this uh, the granted, uh, that the granted patent, uh, the certificate was issued on that. Then the date, then the post grant, you can say the uh, post gra uh, grant general date, uh, the, the date is mentioned over here. Then the request for examination, the publication date is also mentioned over here, but at the bottom, the patent number is mentioned. So this is a way to distinguish between the Indian published patent and the Indian granted patent. Okay, in a broad way, we will distinguish in this way. Okay, you will find that in here in this uh, case, the application, application that, uh, that the bibliographic data, which we have seen in case of the US, it's not just like that, okay? So this is the way of, uh, the, the way of presentation of application is different in our country. Now, I tell you one more, uh, we can say the difference. If we have, again, an international applications, if you have the European country application, then you will see here, the European published versus granted. So it will be now easier for you because you have seen the US uh, uh, patent, uh, pu published patent and the granted patent. So first here you will see that the EP, that is stands for the European, their number, digit number is mentioned and A1. And here at the right side, you will see the B1. So you will have an idea that this one is a published and this one is a granted. So I think a little bit similarity between uh, US patent and uh, European patent uh, systems are a little bit similar. Yes. So like the first two, the first two digit are, uh, uh, the country code and then the last digit also a uh, last alphabet also uh, like for published a1 and for granted b1 in for us and also for european also the same for published and a1 a, and granted and b1 b1 so this is one b for rest you will see that the numbering then the 19 is for the european 19 is for that the countries european is mentioned then the 12 is a kind of publication the european patent applications and here, instead of that, because it is a granted, it is saying the European patent specification. Okay, so this is one thing. Then the 40, you will see here that uh, the 54 is a title and 54 is a title. I just say that the arrangement is a little bit different, but the INID code means remains same. Yes. 54 means a title. And here you will also see in a granted one that 54 is a, uh, that the title of our invention. Okay. And if I remember the last time, you have asked me about that uh, instead of a patent search, instead of the prior art search, there is a one specific term that is called the classification system. That you will observe here that the 51 digit, this 51 digit, you will find that the international CL. And here it is also called international patent classification. Right? So because you were, as you just said that, we are getting some similarity in the US patent and the European patent. The bibliographic uh, graphic arrangement is seen. So there is a one, this classification system. Now, earlier they follow just like in, we have an international system and at the bottom you are getting here that the CPC system. So earlier US was using its own classification system 
and European country was using their own classification system. That is a digit based, you can say the numbering system to identify the invention or the technical field of the invention. But later what happened that these two countries, the European country and the US country, they must together and instead of using their individual countries classification system, they are using the combined system, which is called the CPC. That is called the cooperative platinum classification classification. So presently, the two classification system, one is an international platinum classification system that is called the IPC. And the second one, which is called the CPC, which is to, which is, we can say a combined classification system of European and US country. That's why you are getting some similarities in the European patent, uh, uh, you can say the uh, format side, format uh, presentation and the European patent presentation. Okay, so a little bit we'll talk about uh, that this classification system, what information we get it from this one. So patent classification system. So, uh, so mom, in the, if we can see about these say, three uh, countries, like for US right. patent, uh, like US patent, the font phrase, you can understand uh, the difference between them, like the alphabet yes. also, and also a publication will be written publication, but in that we will get patent. Similarly, on the second uh, stay, but for India, uh, at the end only status, we have to check. First of all, the status we have to check. So if yes. the status, if it will be mentioned that whether it is published or it is granted. So if granted, then publication, uh, then for the patent, if granted, then the status of that will be so granted patent, uh, including one patent number. Yes, uh, in the document side. So uh, I think there is no much, but we can under, directly by seeing only the status, we can understand that uh, whether this is pet, uh, granted or published. But there yes. will be no and such a coding systems like, uh, like no. US patent. So... Uh, there will be no such coding systems. No coding system is not that. That we can say the year and their digits and the the Indian have the differences. Not in terms of A and B. International system is not uh, following in case of our country. They have their own. We can say the numbering system to distinguish their applications. Yes. Okay. And next, uh, okay. we understand from this uh, European case, uh, European patent case, uh, like in US, we found. US of the country code here EP and but yes. the, uh, but sim very uh, similarity compared to like US and if you uh, we will compare with European uh, patent then almost similar uh, a similar yes. type like the co code also the I, I and ID code also remains same like yes uh, like US patent and uh, yes. so uh, so almost similarity like there will be also some uh, like A1 and here in alphabet B1, B2, like that. And at the same yes. time also, there will be some publication and uh, in granted, there will be no publication will be written. The patent will be mentioned. And the, in between them, there will you, be, you will, uh, when you search some of the, you can say the US and the European patent, you will internally get some other numbers like the A1, A2, B1, B2, in between, even we, somewhere we get up to A8 also. These are stages that uh, you can say the examination stages, some of the publication stages. So there are internal, uh, you can say the some of the numbering system is followed. But broadly, we are just distinguishes like in terms of A and B. We have an idea about it. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So thank you very much. So uh, next, we will, in the next lecture, we will understand about the classification system. So how classification system uh, depends. Uh, so we will detail we, we will understand about the patent classification system in our next session thank you very much ma'am thank you dr appan thank you